Hello all. So, in the last session we have started unit 4 where we have discussed the basic concepts of classification algorithm, right. We have also seen when we talk about classification algorithm, classification models, the first algorithms that comes into picture is logistic regression. So, today in the session I would like to talk about the basics of logistic regression algorithm. We will see what is logistic regression algorithm and we will see what is the problem with linear regression for classification. Why do not we use linear regression algorithm for classification? We will see what is this log odds in logistic regression and then we will see sigmoid function and how do we transform that. We will also see the difference between you know or the relation between log odds and this probability based approach for logistic regression. We will see a simple logistic regression model and we will also consider what is decision boundary and different applications of logistic regression. Okay. Now, when I talk about logistic regression, it is basically a supervised machine learning algorithm which comes under classification. Though we have the name regression, logistic regression algorithm comes under classification. Okay. So, it actually predicts the probability of a data belonging to one of the two classes. Okay. So, it is basically used for binary classification. So, when I talk about binary classification, logistic regression is mainly used for predicting whether a data point belongs to class A or class B. Okay. So, we may have different input features x1, x2, x3, x1 and so on. The output would be the probability score saying which category of class each data point in the input belongs to. Okay. So, when I talk about email filtering, okay, if it is spam, the output would be 1, if it is not spam, the output would be 0. I have only two classes of output, 1 or 0. 1 mentions it is spam, 0 mentions it is not spam. Okay. Now, the problem with linear regression for classification. Okay. So, basically linear regression is not suitable for classification because linear regression actually predicts continuous values which are unbounded okay. and the outputs cannot be interpreted as probabilities. When I talk about continuous values, I cannot put any um, boundary for or threshold level for categorizing the continuous values into uh, two categories. Okay. So, for that what we use is we use logistic regression algorithm which uses sigmoid function to constrain predictions to a range 0 to 1 making them interpretable as probabilities. As you can see in this particular figure though I have continuous values I put a threshold to 0 0.5 or some in range value and I say any value below this comes under this category, any value above this comes under this category. So, the predicted y lies within range 0 to 1 as specified. So, basically understand that logistic regression uses the sigmoid function. Okay. Now, when I talk about logistic regression, the actual logistic regression model is developed based on log odds of an event. Okay. So, let us see what is this odds and then what is log odds. Okay. So, when I talk about odds, they actually represent the probability of success. Okay. So, if I say the probability ratio of probability of success to the probability of failure. So, success is represented by P, failure is represented by 1 minus P. Okay. This is called as odds. Odds is nothing but the ratio of probability of success that is P to the ratio of probability of fail which is 1 minus p. Okay. Now, when I talk about log odds, okay, so logit that our the natural algorithm applied to this odds is nothing but log odds or logit function which is represented as ln of or natural logarithm of the odds natural logarithm of p by 1 minus p which is called as log odds. Okay. Now, when I talk about logistic regression, the log odds are modeled as the linear combination of the input features. When I talk about linear regression algorithm, we have seen beta naught is equal to sorry beta naught plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 where beta is nothing but slope and intercept right x 1 x 2 are nothing but the features same thing. So, beta naught is the intercept term beta 1, beta 2, beta 3 are the coefficients, x 1, x 2, x 3 are the input features. So, here the logit function okay, or the log odds natural logarithm is nothing but the intercept term along with the coefficients along uh, which are multiplied along with the given input features. Okay. Now, when I talk about 
sigmoid function and its transformation this sigmoid function will actually map the log odds to the probability between 0 to 1 as we have seen sigmoid function is represented by 1 by 1 plus e power minus z right where z is nothing but beta naught plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 so this is nothing but the log odds function and h of x is nothing but the sigmoid function which actually gives the predicted probability which is nothing but 1 by 1 plus e power minus z which is nothing but your log odds function ok. So, when we talk about the properties of sigmoid function we say this particular variable h of x would be 1 if z tends to infinity, it would be 0 if z tends to minus infinity and h of x is equal to 0 0.5 when z is equal to 0. I am putting up a threshold right. So, when z is equal to 0 h of x would be 0 0.5. So, these are the three possibilities of or properties of the sigmoid function ok. Now, when we talk about relation between log odds and probability we have seen the probability is represented by 1 by 1 plus e power minus z and that z is nothing but the log odds function that is beta 1 plus beta 2 and all that ok. So, this is the relation between the log odds and probability which are used for defining the sigmoid function which plays the major role in your logistic regression algorithm ok. Now, when we talk about logistic regression model it will actually predict the class whether it is class 0 or class 1 based on the probability threshold. So, as you can see we have this S shaped curve hence we call it a sigmoid function ok. Now, this will actually predict whether y lies between 0 to 1 and what is the range of that. So, for working on with logistic regression algorithm we say p greater than or equal to 0 0.5 class 1, p less than or equal to 0 0.5 class 0. So, first of all we have to compute log odds, apply that log odds z in the sigmoid function which is 1 by 1 plus e power minus z and then classify based on the threshold. So, this is a three step procedure for us to calculate logistic regression or develop logistic regression model ok. Now, when we talk about logistic regression model, we often hear the term decision boundary ok. So, the decision boundary is the point where the predicted probability is actually 0 0.5 ok. So, the when you talk about logistic regression, we may have a linear data, we may have non-linear data as well ok. For more complex data, the boundary can be non-linear. So, when I want to put a threshold or separation between two classes, we draw a line and that is called as decision boundary. As you can see, the decision boundary is the point where the predicted probability is 0 0.5 ok. So, in 2D space for binary features, we may get a D, 2D line ok, 2D space uh, I mean we get a straight line or when we talk about non-linear data, we may get a boundary line which is curved ok. Now, uh, different types of uh, you know applications in logistic regression, we use it in medical diagnosis whether a patient has disease or not, yes or no ok. Credit scoring, determining the likelihood of loan default whether depending on the credit score whether the person will pay the loan or not. Spam detection, classifying emails as spam or not spam ok. So, this is all about the most important classification algorithm which is logistic regression which is actually uh, developed based on the sigmoid function or S curves which will divide the entire data into two categories yes or no 0 or 1 by putting up a threshold of 0 0.5 in general. Thank you so much.